I read somewhere that, uh, well, I guess you said that it was really uh, because you had no boundaries for this album that you wrote, well, more complex songs and it was a bit hard to play live. Certain, certain parts for you, drumming and, and singing. Um, how, how did it go today, playing live? Were there songs that... Uh, yeah, we're, not playing, to... we're not playing that many of the new songs live, though. Okay. We're not trying to play the whole record. Today, what did we do, four? Five. Four, five. We did four. Four. We did yeah. four of the new songs. And, and they're, they're cool. They're fine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's always going to be hard um, playing these songs. In the beginning, it seems like difficult, but then after, you know, after a while, you kind of, it's not so bad, it's easy. <laughs> yeah, at this point, we've been on tour for, uh, what, we've done 35 shows with the new songs in, so this is just, this. even though it's a festival today, we played a show yesterday, we're playing a show tomorrow, we've been, we're like in, a big run now, so we've kind of got used to it. We found our feet. Maybe, so maybe not playing in a massive they stage. Say, yeah, like this, tonight was a bit bigger than the other show. Yeah, yeah. That was a bit scary. We found our feet quite a bit with the new songs now. Yeah. They're not as daunting as they were. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is it like for you? Because, well, you've released three albums now. Uh, if yeah. you make yeah. set lists, what do you focus on? We just kind of, we don't want one of those bands that play loads of like kind of non single tracks that. I don't know, when you go to a gig, you usually, when I go see a band, I want to hear all the kind of like, the hits, I guess you'd say, like on each yeah. album, like the singles. So we kind of base it on that, like what, on each album we, we like to put in the singles and stuff, and it, it's kind of, yeah, we yeah, don't want to ever play like these five, five songs of each album kind yeah. of thing. I mean, it's yeah. cool to do, change it up and do some different stuff, but we like to kind of do it, so what people want basically is kind of point. Because we went to see Smashing Pumpkins once, headlining Reading and Leeds Festival in England. They played like two songs that people knew, and then loads of new shit that nobody gave a fuck about. And we were like, we will never ever do that. I never want to do that to the audience and just play them a load of crap. That I'm like, check it out. I'm gonna play guitar solo now for ages. And, like no one cares. I want songs that make people dance. Like, and what, no shame what did you do playing live with the first one? Because you actually had well maybe one hour to fill. Or, or did you play smaller kicks? I mean, in, in yeah, time wise. We, yeah, time wise, we played less. I think we played less time, but also we. Ha I suppose then we played. We had some other songs that we hadn't put on the album that people had kind of known, so we did a bit of that. And yeah. Yeah, I don't know really. It seems like a long time ago, but. Yes, it feels like a century ago. Yeah, it's yeah. only four years ago. I know. It's gone fast, man. Yeah. We've well, made three strange. albums in those four years, and we've toured. Or like we went from having toured like maybe two countries, so we probably toured like fifteen or twenty countries now. Has it been too too fast for you? I mean, memory-wise, can you still pinpoint what happened when? No, no. but I, I couldn't remember anything before we went on tour, so that doesn't make any. I've just got a terrible memory. No, I think it's I think it's going at the right pace for us. Definitely, I actually think it's kind of. We're not going at a real full speed. It's been a growing process. It's been yeah, it doesn't feel like it's up. a crazy whirlwind. It just feels like it's been a, a constant progression, I guess. Which is exactly what we want. So. <laughs> well, let's pick the first album, Box of Secrets. If you listen to this album now, what what do you hear? Uh, I think we sound like kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think we sound like little kids. And like the way we're singing is quite childlike, and our voices are quite high, and we sing a lot lower now. And I think how fast all the songs are compared to what we do now. Like some of them I'm like, I had no idea we were playing it that fucking fast. Because live, some of those songs now have slowed down and I think they're better for it. Like this is not for you, we play way slower now. I wish we'd have recorded it like that. Lyric-wise, lyric-wise, if you listen to the lyrical content of the first album, what, what? Yeah, there's stuff I think could be better. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff I think, oh, I'm impressed that we wrote that then. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh, we weren't as bad as we thought. Yeah, but I don't know. Ultimately, the thing is, you can go through and you can, you, you're always critical of yourself, and you look through and go, we could have done that better, and that could be better, and if I did that now, I'd do it differently. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, and you have to just be like, you have to accept that that was part of yourself at the time. That was completely true to the best we could possibly yeah. make it, and and actually, there's a. There's something about that, that it's good that you can't go back and change it. It should be that, it should leave room to grow and it should have flaws, you know? Because that's part of the history of where your band's growing and where you're going to. And you just have to, um, you know, you just have to accept that shit and go, okay.